Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabook.com coming to you from Sarasota, Florida. First of all, I wanna wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day. We are going to be using an anything goes theme for the Stampers Dozen blog hop tonight. And I chose the Cactus Cutie stamp set with the Cactus Builder Punch. This is such a fun little set. I can't hardly wait to show you what I made with it. Let's get this camera flipped around and I will get started. This, as I said, is the Cactus Cuties bundle. And I do love bundles with punches because they're just so easy to use, right? We're also going to be using the Memento Black Ink Pad, the Coastal Cabana Ink Pad, the Pattern Party Designer Series Paper. Now this paper is fabulous. It's all black and white on one side and colored on the other with some fun patterns and colors. This comes in 12 by 12. You get, I believe, four 12 by 12 sheets of each pattern, which is a lot. Is that right? Let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four of them. You can only get this when you put in an order over $150. You get some Stampin' Rewards, so you can buy this with it. It is a host exclusive item, or you can have a party and you can accumulate orders or you can put together a catalog party, ask your friends to order, and then you get the stamp and rewards. You can get this whole big pack of paper. I'm also gonna be using the new adhesive backed hexagons. These are in our January through June mini catalog. The tasteful label dies. We're gonna be using this one for our card. And then who has these stripes and splatters embossing folders? These are so fun. You get two small embossing folders. This one does the stripes, and then this one does splatters. And these are just a fun background for your cards. We're gonna be using the stripes because I thought it went along really well with the cactus theme. We're gonna get out all our bits and pieces here. So let me just move some of the stuff out of the way. This is a piercing mat. I like to wrap this with printer weight paper, tape it on the back, and this is what I use to stamp on. It's got just a tiny bit of give to it that makes it an exceptional surface for stamping. So here comes all of our layers. We've got a basic white, medium-sized envelope, a card base that is five and a half by eight and a half, a, let's see, I've got, yep, I've got a basic white that is four by five and a quarter and also a scrap of white and a piece of our Coastal Cabana. This is two by five and a quarter. I cut this pattern of the pattern party paper. This is two by five and a quarter. I've got a little half inch strip of Magenta Madness and let's see, I think that was just, this is just another scrap of white. And then I've also got a three quarter inch strip of Coastal Cabana. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take these two pieces and we're going to emboss them in our embossing machine using the stripes of the Stripes and Splatters 3D embossing folder. And I like to use this little line that's on the front to line things up that have a definite pattern, like these stripes go up and down. If it was just a bunch of flowers all over, this wouldn't be so important, but I like my definite patterns to be straight and even. So I'm gonna run this through my die cutting machine. I'll be right back. And here come these pieces. Okay, I think we're ready to start stamping. So I'm gonna just set all of these pieces aside while we get to work on our cactus. We're gonna be using Memento Black Ink. And I always like to take a look at the back of my punch to see where are my elements, how am I going to stamp them on my paper to get the most out of it. So I'm gonna take this big round cactus and I thought it was really kind of a little different to have a black cactus, and doesn't that look fun? So we're going to punch that out right away. And there's one of our elements, and I see I already have blank black ink on my fingers, so we'll turn that over. <laughs> and then we're gonna do three of these little ones. So I'm gonna look and see 
I'm gonna stamp these upside down right along this edge. And I want one, two, and three. And then we'll punch those out right away. And don't you just love punches? I love punches. Oh, look it. I should have spaced them out a little bit more. I love them because they're quick and easy. I don't have to go to my machine to do anything. And it just makes for some real quick stamping. I'll redo this one because I chopped off the end of it there. And that's why I'm stamping and punching as I go rather than just stamping it all. Okay, so here's our three little cactus arms, I guess is what I'm gonna call them. Then we're gonna take this strip and I'm going to use the Just a Note sentiment, again with the black ink. And I also love that this stamp set is photopolymer because you can see through it and that just makes everything easier, doesn't it? I'm gonna grab my paper snips and just snip this off right here. And then we need our Coastal Cabana ink. And with this one, we're going to stamp this little planter. We'll grab our scrap again, and I wanna look at my punch to see which way do I need to stamp this. If we're gonna come in over here, maybe over here. I'm gonna snip this off a little bit so I can get this piece in there. Let's see, like that. How about if we do it like that? So I'm gonna stamp that right here, whoops. And then we can put it in right like this. There we go. Now, there's a couple different ways to do the little flowers. And if you don't happen to have, you know, the colored cardstock, you can definitely stamp the flowers and punch them out. I've got Magenta Madness here. And I'm going to just cut a strip of my scrap because that, that's the way it's gonna fit into our punch. So I'm gonna do this, and I think I'll try this. Isn't that just really bold and pretty? Let's see if this fits in our punch, if we did it. Yep, it sure does. So you can punch out flowers with any color of ink that you have. Oops, let's get that there. Or you can take your colored cardstock and you can punch out a bunch of flowers like that. Either way, works fine. Just depends on what you have and what you need. So I've got my two flowers here. I'm gonna set this one aside. Get all this little bits of mess out of here. And now, oh, we have just a tiny bit more stamping to do. And that's on our label. Now I chose to use the Tasteful Label dies. This comes with, oh, hang on, it's getting covered up here comes with 10 different labels. These are fabulous. They fit just about everything. So I've got this label die and we're going to start assembling our cactus plant. I'm going to add some liquid glue to the back here. And we're gonna put this pretty close down to the bottom. I just wanna kind of center it on this label. And then we're gonna bring in our big cactus. And I'm gonna leave a space between my planter and my big cactus, which is a little weird, but we're gonna put the sentiment over top of that so it won't be weird in just a minute. And then I'm gonna add, oh, look at it. My Apple Watch has a magnet in it and everything sticks to it. One time I lost a die and I was walking around all over looking for it and it was stuck to me. <laughs> Fun stuff, right? Okay, I'm gonna take this one and put it right over here. And I love these little arms, I call them. They probably have a better name than that, but I am not a cactus connoisseur, so I really don't know what they call them. Then I'll maybe put this one right here. And then we have our little flowers 
And I'm just going to, I see I got some glue on my hand. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to my flowers. And I'm just going to add those right at the top of my little cactus arms. Here comes another one. There we go. Now we're gonna put some mini dimensionals on the back of this layer. And I just wanna give this good support. Can you guys hear those people outside talking? We have company this week while we're in Sarasota. And uh, I can hear them out there talking on the patio. Okay, here comes the rest of our card. Remember we embossed those. We've got our basic black layer, which is our card base. I'm just gonna fold this in half. Now remember, you can find all of the dimensions and still photos on my blog. At the end of this video, there's gonna be a link where you can go right to my blog post to see all of this and join the blog hop. So I just wanna make sure I tell you about that before I forget. Here comes our two by five and a quarter inch piece of designer paper. And we're just gonna put that right over here. And then we're gonna grab this one, the Coastal Cabana that we embossed and we're gonna put it right over here. So we're gonna butt those two right up against each other. We're gonna bring in our tag or label and we're gonna put that right in the center. This is just such a quick, easy, fun card to make. This is actually a swap card that I'm using because I'm in a swap using this Cactus Cuties bundle. And then we're gonna set that right down here. Now we need just a little bit something more. And I thought these adhesive backed hexagons would be perfect. We're gonna grab the black ones. I'm gonna take a big one. I'm using my Take Your Pick tool. This is my favorite, most useful tool that I have, along with my bone folder and my paper snips. But I use this tool almost every single card that I make. Okay, so now we have the front done. What are we gonna do with the inside? We're gonna take that other, oh, we did need two pieces of white, four by five and a quarter. We're gonna take this and we're just gonna add this little layer to the inside. It's just gonna bring in some interest from the front of the card. It doesn't cost us any more. It's not gonna create any more postage for mailing. And it's just a nice way to decorate up the inside of your card. So that's what I have for the inside. And this is just a note. So I'm gonna leave it without a sentiment for the inside so that I can use it for anything that I need. Ooh, it's so hard to see on this black surface. I'm away from home, so I don't have my wood-grained tabletop that I would usually be stamping on. I bought a piece of poster board. Isn't that just adorable? Now, we need something for our envelope. And I thought what would be fun there, I should have done this when I was doing everything else, but I thought what would be fun there is to stamp it up with the elements we used on the card front. So I'm just gonna put a little pot down here and then I'm gonna grab my black and I'm going to stamp this right here. I don't know if you could hear all the noise out there but I just went and closed the door because I don't want a bunch of background noise. You guys won't be able to hear me, right? And then let's see, let's just put one of these right here and then I'm gonna grab that magenta and I'm gonna put a little flower there and a little flower here. And we have a super cute envelope to go with our card, right? Okay, now if we have time here, and I think we do, that was a pretty quick card. I am going to grab another card to share with you. So hang tight, I'm gonna clean this mess up, I'll be right back. Okay, here's our next card. We're gonna be using Cajun Craze, Old Olive, Cinnamon Cider, Blushing Bride, and Evening Evergreen. And before I forget, I need to tell you guys, this card 
is coming to me from one of my team members. We do a swap every month. And she, Priscilla Sechuan from California, sent me this card and I absolutely love it. So, oh, and while we're at it, I wanted to show you guys something. When you open up a brand new ink pad, there is these little labels on the back. And just in case you didn't know about this, I kind of like to pull these up a little bit, get in there and be careful with your scissors because they're really sharp. I'm gonna get that edge coming up. There we go. And what you do with these is you put them on the end of your ink pad. And you guys probably know this, but if we have anybody new, this will be helpful information. That way when you stack all of your ink pads, you can see I've got two more new ones here I haven't done, you're gonna have all the colors right on the end so you can see them. But also, a really neat feature is we've got this label that doesn't have anything on it. It's just the cinnamon cider, or Cajun craze color, I mean. So what you do with that is you place it right down in, whoops, right down in here And then when you have your ink pads all open, you can see what color you have. Okay, the other elements I have here. This piece of blushing bread is two by five and a half, same that we used in the Coastal Cabana on the last card. I've got, oh, that's, oh, this is a scrap that we'll need, a blushing bride. I also die cut this circle, and this circle is approximately three inches, and that's from the layering circle dies. So I've got that done already. We've got our envelope, and we've got a quarter inch strip of pear pizzazz that's quarter inch by five and a half. And I just fell in love with this card that Priscilla made, and I knew that I needed to share it with you guys especially since I had made the other Cactus Cutie card and I thought, oh, this would be perfect to do both of them. I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Trimmer and we're gonna do some scoring. This is five and a half by eight and a half, basic white thick cardstock. And we're going to score this at two and a quarter and then four and a quarter. So only two score marks on here. This is gonna be a fun fold. You guys know that I love fun folds. And by the way, if you're not familiar with me, you may wanna go over to my blog and subscribe. That way you'll get all the new ideas that I come out with right in your email inbox, which is really fun. So we're just gonna fold on that one score line for right now. We're going to take our old olive ink and the sentiment that says, hope your day is on point, which is kind of a quirky little sentiment for this card. And the stamp set with the cactuses, right? On point. So we've got that. And then I've got these half inch strips and these are just half inch strips of white cardstock. I'm pulling in the Slim Sayings stamp set. This goes with a whole bundle if you want it, or you can get just the stamp set. But I love these big sentiments. And Priscilla used this happy birthday with her card, which I thought was just perfect. So we're going to stamp that also in Old Olive. And let's see if I can get this straight on here. I'm going to stand up to make sure. This is not photopolymer, so it's a little trickier. That's a red rubber. Okay, that looks great. And I'm just going to trim this off. It turned out really good. It's straight. I'm gonna be happy with that. Okay, right away, I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this sentiment layer. Whoops, hang on, got away from me. Oh, you little bugger. There we go. Okay. <laughs> you wanna give this good support. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. I am going to take my Blushing Bride ink and I'm going to stamp just a couple of the little flowers on the inside right down here. This is what Priscilla did and I just thought it was a really cute little touch. And then we're going to take our circle and a white scrap, let's see, I still have a scrap left over from that last card, so we're good to go there. 
and we're gonna start stamping some elements. I'm gonna get my Evening Evergreen ready, my Cinnamon Cider. I'm gonna move this off so I don't get ink all over it. And I'm gonna try this little pot with the Cinnamon Cider. We're gonna stamp that right on our circle. There we go. Then I'm going to grab this particular pot and use the Cajun Craze. And again, I'm gonna look at my punch to see which way do I wanna do this. I wanna stamp this right over here and we're gonna punch that out. There we go. So there's another one of our little elements. Then I'm gonna grab my cactus and we are going to do the evening evergreen and we'll put that on our scrap and then we need three of those little arms so you guys saw me do this last time i'm gonna get these all punched out and ready to roll i'll be back in just a second Okay, then we're gonna grab this spiky little cactus. And again, we're going to use Old Olive ink. And I don't want this to get into my pot. So one good way to prevent that, I'm gonna grab a post-it note and put that right up to the edge of my pot and use it as a mask. I can still see where my pot is here. I left just a little bit out there and look at that. You've got perfect placement every time. Okay, the only other thing we need is to clean off this stamp and we're going to do an evening evergreen. Pot or planter. I think we have all of our little elements. Okay, let's get our envelope stamped up and then we're gonna put our card together. And this fun fold is so easy. I think you're just gonna love it. I'm gonna clean this off again and I just threw my card. Oh, thank goodness it didn't get in the ink pad. It got stuck on my shirt. I'm gonna take my cinnamon cider and we'll just put that right over here and then I think I want to try this spiky plant again because I think it's really fun we'll do that in old olive and I'll mask it again there we go that's gonna make for a cute little envelope right okay all of these up and get them out of the way so we don't drop our card in them. Who's done that? Me. Many times. I'm a slow learner sometimes, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, here comes our card base. We are going to take our white layer and we're going to add it right down to the bottom of the front of our panel here. I'm sorry, this is our blushing, whoops, our blushing bride layer that we embossed with the stripes embossing folder. So we're gonna put that right down here on the bottom. Now this front part is the one that has the score line that runs across the middle of it. So we've got a score line right there. We're gonna fold on that score line. Take your bone folder, give it a little burnish. And then we're gonna grab that pear pizzazz strip. And this is just gonna fill that gap that we've got right here between our, whoops, our blushing bride and our score line. I'm just gonna butt that up against the embossed layer. And then we're going to do some fun things here. I'm gonna glue 
this cactus, just a tiny bit of glue down here at the bottom, and I'm gonna tuck it right in behind. Whoops, I want this to be my evergreen pot. I'm gonna make this exactly like Priscilla made it because it's just so pretty, I love it. There we go. We're gonna add some dimensionals to the back of the cinnamon cider pot. And we're just gonna offset that a little bit. We're just gonna move it up just a little bit more than this one. And then we've got all of these little pieces. So grab your mini dimensionals and add those. And now we can start building those fun little, oh, <laughs> get this guy on there too. Don't forget about him. And you wanna kinda of keep your dimensionals away from the edges because we're gonna tuck these little arms in underneath. So we'll do this. And then we'll grab one of these. And I just keep tucking them under. And then this one. Now, Priscilla added some flowers and that's where this scrap comes in. And I'm gonna punch one, two, three blushing bride flowers. Here they are. Let's get all these little bits and pieces out of our way. And then I'm just gonna add, whoops, tiny little bit of glue right to the front. And instead of putting these flowers on top of our cactuses, Priscilla put them underneath, which I thought was really cute. So you just push that down, that's gonna stick right there. We'll do the same thing here. And here. We're gonna put this one right under here. This also needs to be on dimensionals. I'm just gonna add, now you're only gonna wanna add a couple dimensionals to your pot. Don't put any on your cactus. Okay, we got that ready. We are ready to assemble the rest of our card. And we're going to add some dimensionals to our circle, only down at the bottom. So here's the bottom. Here, here, and then how about one right here, only on the bottom part of our card. Look at this, we got a little hitchhiker. <laughs> here we go. So we're gonna put this right here. We're gonna add this little guy right over here. Remember, we don't have any dimensionals on the back right here. And then this piece is gonna be our little kickstand. Whoops, I just pulled the whole dimensional off. It's gonna be our little kickstand for our easel card. And how stinking adorable is this, right? So I want it to kickstand about right here. So I'm just gonna open that up and put our sentiment in. I had to turn off somebody's phone. It's always fun when you're trying to do stuff and you've got all these distractions, right? <laughs> okay, you guys, let's take a look at our fun cards. Oh, I know, we need embellishments, so hang tight. We're gonna do, we're gonna do some of these embellishments and either one of these would work, but I thought these Blushing Bride would look super cute to embellish our card. These are the um, hexagons again. And they're already self-adhesive, which makes them super easy to use. Isn't that cute, Priscilla? I loved this card. I'm so glad that I was in the swap. And you can also swap with us if you join my team. Before the end of celebration is the best time to do that. It's only $99. You get to choose 
125 product dollars in product of anything you want before the end of February. And you also get to add on two additional stamp sets. You can order your future orders at a 20% minimum discount. It's super fun to be on my team. Most of my team is made up of discount shoppers. So if you're interested in that, head on over to my blog, www.estampabove.com, and go in the right-hand column and look for $99 kit. All the details are there. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. This is my current host code right now. If you are planning on placing an order and it is under $150, Make sure you use this code. If it's over, don't use the code because you're going to get some rewards and I definitely want you to have those. I always appreciate your reward orders. So thank you for that. Click right up here to head over to the blog hop. Click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. And once again, I want to wish everybody a very happy Valentine's Day. My husband bought me some chocolate-covered strawberries today and my favorite candy corn. And they're fresh and they're delicious. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Click up here, head to the blog hop, see what everybody else made today. And have yourself a wonderful day of love. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.